I can tell you that the, the state of, of the local media in Texas is better than it was three years ago, but significantly worse than it was 10 years ago, and much worse than that uh, compared to 20 uh, or so years ago. I'm, I moved to Texas in 1991 to work at a magazine called Texas Monthly, which I eventually uh, uh, came to edit. And over the years that I was there, both as a, as a member of the staff and as the editor, I watched the number of newspapers in Texas decline. I watched what you alluded to, the number of reporters on the staffs of those papers uh, decline. There were still two daily newspapers as recently as 1991 in Houston, Dallas, San Antonio, and El Paso. There are no markets in Texas with two daily papers. Most markets can barely sustain one daily paper. And what's left after all the cuts, cuts of staff and cuts of budget, is not an enormous amount of coverage of serious issues, public policy, politics, and government. That has been the, the void created by this decline in the media business. Now, in the last couple of years, the economy's come back in Texas, as it has elsewhere, and the media business has picked up some. But we are at about half, we estimate, about half of where we were 20 years ago in terms of the number of reporters who are at the Capitol covering public policy and politics. Any news organization at crisis time staffs up. And in Texas, where our legislature meets 140 days every two years, it's a little bit like the department stores at Christmas. They hire seasonal help. And then when Christmas is over, they lay all the elves off. Well, that's what it's been like in the media business in Texas. Legislative session comes along, they staff up for the season, and then when the session is over, they tend to let them go. So really, for most of, of that two-year period, except for those 140 days, it's, it's lean times and coverage of that stuff. Uh, we started to effectively combat or attempt to combat that uh, lack of coverage. And the problem that David alluded to, which is a low level of engagement among people in Texas. Uh, uh, Texas citizens, generally speaking, are not terribly engaged in the political process. We had the lowest voter turnout in 2010 of the 50 states. In fact, we were 51st of the 50 states behind the 49 states in Washington, D.C. And that's the most visible measure of disengagement, voter turnout. But if you ask people around the state of Texas, who represents you at the Capitol in Austin? Who represents you at the Capitol in Washington? What are the three or four big issues that are being fought over uh, during the legislative session? And what stakes do you have in the outcomes of those fights? Most people can't tell you. Gerrymandering is responsible to some degree. The decline in the newspaper business is responsible for some de to some degree. And therefore, we have a supply and a demand problem that has made it very difficult for, for Texans to stay informed. But I will tell you, uh, we, we are optimistic about the model that we're uh, uh, now four and a half years in uh, putting forward. And we, we think that all over the country, there can be some version of this that helps raise a level of engagement. Sure. Well, that Knight Foundation report and the work of uh, many communities to begin to look at and understand what's been happening in the media system really speaks to some of the challenges that have happened since 2007. Um, nearly 120 plus newspapers have gone out of business in this country since that time, and untold number of people that have lost their jobs as a result of, of that disruption. And what we have found is that um, that lack of information at the local level, politics, of course, is a part of that. Um, state government, of course, is a part of that as well, but the basic information needs of people in our communities, such as jobs, health, local services, where they can get access to information about what's happening right next door, has diminished tremendously as a result of this loss in the ecosystem. And so what we see as a result of this disruption is a real void in local, local information and the ability of people to be able to engage because they don't have the information they need to be able to access this information.